Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our crack, our drag playthrough here in Total War Warhammer 2, where things are going well, we have a, well we've pushed back the current wave of, uh, of chaos, we'll see what comes next, um, I think we're, we're at this tricky point of, I think we're sorted, I think we're safe, but I don't know 100%, so we're gonna, Move forwards with care. We're going to try and grab some territory up here as well to make sure it's ours. And I think this is probably the last wave of chaos. Um, though we don't seem to have killed or finished it off completely yet. We'll see how it goes, however. Definitely want all the corruption cleansing at the moment. We've got all of your main bits and pieces. Ooh. I hadn't realised that. The extra ward save for all the units in the army is very, very nice. And you are just slowly moving home to increase the income from our capital. There we go. And let's start rebuilding Stragoff after it fell to the courses of chaos. Nope. Hmm... Sorry if you can hear me drinking. I also apologise if you can hear any of the music, be all the hammering or anything outside. There's lots of work going on in the houses around me. They're having their roofs redone. So it's a little noisy. Um, but yeah. Um, so as has been requested, guys, we, once we've done with this, we're going to look at uh, getting some territory in Ulfwan. We're going to try and cheese ourselves into a war with Ulfwan. Um, we're obviously at war with the Dark Elves over there as well. Um... And try and get ourselves some, you know, settle ourselves some territory over in Nagarond as well. Um, get Cromson off expeditioning uh, to increase our, our territory massively. And then, as I said, long run, once we dealt with Dark Elves, it's going to be time to hit Ulfwan. And we're obviously gonna, potentially going to try and get ourselves a foothold in Ulfwan as well on the way. And I'm going to buy all of um, Albion because why the hell not? Bit confused as to where they're going. And uh, Kislev may have to fall, because obviously Prague was our ally. So, Kislev was never our ally. I mean, they have been our ally, but Prague was our oldest ally, and Kislev let them fall. They didn't send support. They didn't do anything. They let, let Prague fall. We're obviously going to step in. Ah! There we go. I see that Chaos Army. So we've got one up there, potentially heading our way, so I might need to send people to deal with that, but... Yeah, Chaos Force there. If I take out all the Chaos Lords, we do win, which is good, but at the same time I want to try and grab my territory back, so I don't necessarily feel a need to utterly destroy them yet. It may come, but... The war herd of chaos, there we go, and that was the danger. Sure, I don't know where you are, but you can have a non-aggression pact. Sigvald, I need to go and I need to chase him down. Uh. Hmm. I'm leaving. He is going to get dealt with by M by the Empire. Um, Time for a reckoning. I guess we're going to have to fight this one. Um, it's not going to be the, well. It's not going to be too bad a battle. It's going to be good. We've got a very veteran force here now already. So I'm quite happy with that, uh, with this force. This force is quite a nice setup now. Um, obviously, we've got God's Own Quarrelers here as well, who are eventually going to go over to Ulfwan and show the elves how people shoot bows. I mean, okay, they're crossbows, but they're still bows. Um, there's a lot of large stuff here. Those Saigors are probably the most annoying thing here. So we're going to advance on them. Basically straight away. For the 
And then we're going to mix up this front line because there's no need for it to be... Square off my quarrelers. For the ancestor gods. See, they'd have been best charging me so their Cygors could shoot, because all I'm going to do is my quarrelers are going to eviscerate their Cygors. And then we'll hold in position and let them shoot. Kill that goddamn Saigor. There you go, filling it full of shafts. And then the next one's gonna go straight down next. Here they come. Poisoning them all. That one's gone. Let's hit these giants. Oops. Beastmen giants are just not worth using. I love that forward roll. Thompson here himself. That's right, run away! Kill that Minotaur. There we go. Nice, solid victory there. And we're going to fall back a bit because I don't particularly want to be taken on by that. I want, don't particularly want to take on that Chaos Army just yet. But we're positioning ourselves to a position where we can resettle here nicely. Then we will reclaim the, the, the lands of Prague and potentially Kislev if Kislev falls. Waraz, Manita got shown what happens when you come into, into, into Norse Dwarf land. He's still... Um, I'm falling back. I don't want to take on a full, fully set up Chaos Army while I'm that weak, if I'm honest. Ooh, these guys have swapped faction. Interesting. I mean, I'm not leaving them there. Lord of Clan Morgrim. And straight onto that. And then we I want to get these guys up north because there are chaos over on this other coast and Norskans and all that jazz. Though I'm fairly sure there's a Norskan army somewhere in the middle here. Hmm. 
Hmm. Fair, I'm probably not doing enough with this, because I could probably get some shinies. Get some really good gear out, actually. Elfbane! Oh, that's going to come in useful soon. Time for a reckoning. There we go. Buff up Kromsons, guys. You're still heading home. There we go. Slowly getting there. We've basically dealt with the worst of the Chaos Invasion. It's still not goddamn happening. Um, no, I'm, I'm happy with where we are and how we're doing at the moment. The dwarves do worry me. They are humongously powerful. Is he at war with me? I, I just don't know where he's going or why. He may just be trying to get home. And, no, you know, not realising it would be quicker to disband because it's the AI after all. There we go. As I said, that's kind of what I wanted to do. I'm going to let the Empire deal with them. Because I've already been the bulwark and taken the majority, you know, taken a huge chunk of the hits of chaos. I'm not being coward, guys. I'm letting the Empire do their part, because otherwise... Ooh! And traps like that. If I'd gone in, we would have been in the, right in amongst that. Right, we need to start moving to deal with Fergus. If I'm lucky, Sigvald will die on die on Prague and, sorry, on Kislev, and that will end chaos. If I'm unlucky, it won't. Nope. It's going to be odd being one of the last Empire factions, other than the Empire and the Golden Order. No, there's actually a few. There's also Avaland there. And the faction of Chaos has been destroyed, so I don't need to worry too much, because Kislev literally just ended it for us. So, there we go. Kislev killed Sigvald, and he was the last standing lord. So, now it's time to splurg resettle. Ah! That's an auto. What do you want? By the Gamma's Cron! On my way. Ah, technically victory. As it was a hard start. Obviously, we're not done yet. An age of peace or not. God damn you, Kislev. Occupied, help it. Oh. God damn you, Kislev. The Tsarina empowers me to offer you warm greetings this chilly eve. Hmm. Do that, let's find that. Just frees up some territory. And here wasn't. The, I've got the bits which were my ter good territory for me, basically. So this just frees Kromps enough to go crusading.
I know you can become immortal, please. Constant extra armor piercing for everybody around him. That seems like a very good thing. There we go. So we're going to leave one army back here just to manage our home territories. I may go resettle these two actually as well now because there's no reason not to. Uh, maybe do a little grab down here. Um... Basically, we'll see how it all goes, and obviously we are going to prepare for, uh, well, I'm going to go straight over with my army here, my old beard army. Um, my grey beard army, and hit them and try and take their territory, you know, get ourselves a foothold over there while we bring the other armies. And potentially start pushing out another army, though I need to buy back some of this temp territory off the Empire as well first, because obviously... It's not Empire Territory. And obviously all up here, but again, it's settleable, but it's whether it's worth... Oh, oh, okay, yeah, enter war on the side of my ally. I thought he was declaring war on me then for a second. I was like, oh God! That would have been fun. Oh, oh, Marienburg has just been integrated into the Empire. So the Empire just gained a big chunk of power. My axe thirsts for war. On to glory for the ancestors. How cast the root. Actually, you can, yeah, I'm going to basically keep him down and around here for the time being while we're resettling all of this place. Uh, you're going to go settle these places. Can't really afford another army just now, but Cromson is going to start marching. These places should balance out. No, I want to save some money because I want to buy these places back off the Empire. That's going to be so fun. It's going to annoy the dwarves, but it's going to be so fun. But I'm not going to do it until I'm ready. We need to clear out the chaos corruption there as well. And he's nearly home. Nearly home. So, yeah, we, we've done well here. The chaos forces of chaos have been defeated. Um, so it's it's what next, really? We're going to order tide it a bit over, try and get ourselves some territory here. We'll see how that goes, however. It may or may not go well. We'll see. Um... And then it is going to be invading off one. God damn it, Kazakarak. This is what's going to end up breaking us our, our, our friendship up. You're declaring too many goddamn wars and making yourself too goddamn powerful. I think the Dowie are probably the most powerful. The Empire are powerful, but I mean, their territories are much smaller, but the Dowie are just so goddamn big. See, I don't want to double time, because if I double time, he'll stop loot. He'll lose some of that extra recruitment. Vengeful 
Mm, maybe there's not the best place to hit first. I could just go, yeah, I'm just going to go settle up here somewhere. Because these are proper cities, which are perfect for me. There is no surrender, scum of grub. My Thren Thranzi. Go kill them, please. It is time. Hmm. We're getting there. Cromson will be pretty much back at full health soon, and we'll start selling him around. Um, yeah, no, so up here it's a really good place. Uh, I may well deal with Agol there, but I'm in no rush to because that territory is not actually good territory for us at all. So I'm happy for other people to take it. Um, once we've got all of there, basically we will be the, the dwarves of the northern dwarves. What our name is, the Norse dwarves. We'll try and get all of the northern territory if we can. Um... I really want to know where he's going. Uh, but getting ourselves a really good foothold in the North Fair would be perfect for us, actually. Um, and a really good position to build from, expand our territory from. But I need to be a bit quick on it, so once I've captured there, what I might do is throw out a few lords just to go, go and help us to spread ourselves. Because there's going to be a little bit of a land grab over there now, I suspect, from all of the Order Tide factions. Unsurprisingly. But if I could use my income to build... For God damn it. I mean, hopefully Karazakarak is over overextending, but they are so ridiculously powerful, I don't think they are. I mean, this is effectively the size of Krasakrak I was fighting in my Kislev campaign, where as a tiny little Kislev, and I managed to hold for lo a long time, that's as a player. Hmm. Hope, I'm kind of hoping the Skaven have got a bit of a united front down there. Ah, Erengrad has recaptured. I would like a northern Erengrad there, because that's actually potentially quite useful for me. Yeah, Gortex and Felix have reappeared. Hmm. Let's sail. Hi, lad. What can I do? Let us begin. Stupid, stupid. Oh, now that's worrying. Because I'm actually at war with Clan Moors. There we go. Let's just keep the movement on. And you see Nagarond are actually quite powerful as well, so getting a foothold above them before I actually go to war with them is probably a good idea. I still want to know where they're going. I was not expecting to see Clan Moors there. I suspect they have confederated people and they've been sneaking around going into places chaos have destroyed. They do there. I've not been down there for ages. They could have been there for uh, years and years and years and years and years at this point, and I would not have had a clue. So, yeah. Hmm. Oh, 
God damn. They are getting a little aggressive, extra aggressive, and hopefully that's worrying everybody else as much as it's worrying me. Um, if I could bring the Empire and Kiron to war against the Dowie, now that would be awesome. I don't know if we'd be able to win, but it would be awesome. They're obviously heading north again. I did wonder why they were suddenly there. They managed to lose all that territory. You see, all of these are a bit useless now. I don't really want to do anything tech-wise just now. Oh, for God's sake. Stupid bloody grudge. Yes. Casting the roots. I'll get on it for the wisdom of Valea. I just want to check I'm not at war with him. Cursed. Nope. Basically going in here because from here I can start I can start Zerg settling a bit. Moving That is good, but at the same time it's not good. Because it's a lot less growth. To war! I'm going to leave it for now. It takes 17 turns. I'm going to do it. It'll, it, it'll lead to what it'll lead to. I'm not spending any money just now because we're going to need that for the, the for our colonial ventures. As we kick in there, we are going to need them. As Cromson goes on his lovely cruise of the, uh, of the uh, Bay of Crumpson. I'm renaming, I'm deciding it's called that now because I own all the northern side of it. Again, eventually I will buy that territory back off the Empire, but I'm in no rush to do that. And we're going to start nomming up all this northern territory now that it's clear before anybody else can get here. I said I'll start throwing out lords to do that and splitting that other army a little bit to do it. Um, because I just want to grab it as quickly as possible. Don't you dare. Before the Empire does it right in front of me, and that's what's worrying me. I need to give the Empire another target. Slagging hell. I mean, he's being a little too aggressive because he's. I, <clears throat> they may be able to win it, but they are definitely overstretching. Which is good, as far as I'm concerned. It's interesting not seeing a white wolf plan for a change. Because obviously, uh. The uh, Yves have won for a change. Right, you. Be at peace, for that is all I ever want. Armed and ready, if you say so, Beardling. A 
Get on it. Can I help you? Rune Ricky. Let us begin. Vengeful Rune Lord. I can only get one Lord a turn. something for next time we're gonna take push them out of there anyway as always thank you very much for watching guys i do hope you are enjoying this playthrough uh, now we've got a little bit of downtime for our future plans as i said we're gonna do a bit of colonization take on nagrond and then sweep down into your at which point we'll probably be ready for for the war for beards between myself as the high king of the north and the uh cowardly karazakarak there who are trying to take on everything else at the moment um, but no as always a massive thank you to everybody who has watched please do like and subscribe if you have not already an extra special thank you to all of my uh, patrons and channel members who should be on the screen now if i've remembered to do it today because i didn't last time um and please do pop a comment as well if you have enjoyed this guys and an extra special thank you to william farmer as well who has been really supporting the channel recently of that guys as always, thank you to everybody who watches. You are all awesome. Cheers, guys.